Hi friends! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and for this video, I'm going to talk about my working experience or my experience working for Accenture here in the Philippines. So if you're interested uh, about that, tune in to this video. So if you're new here, I am Rienze. I am a software developer working here in the Philippines and I make videos that aim to make us better, more productive, more effective as a developer or as a knowledge worker in general. So since I posted uh, a video about my career shifting journey, I mentioned Accenture and I got a lot of questions from you guys asking me about the experience, the hiring process, everything. So I figured uh, I should make another video talking about the company. If you haven't watched that video, uh, I can give you just a bit of a background. Uh, back in 2016, I was a career shifter. I shifted from the manufacturing industry, the semiconductor manufacturing industry, and into the IT industry. And um, Accenture was the first company that hired me or that gave me the chance to have my break, to have my break into the industry. I worked for them for almost um, five years, so uh, four years and 18 months to be exact. So that's a bit of a, a long time. So for just a bit of um, disclaimer, this is just my subjective opinion, right? So you might agree, you might disagree, but this is uh, from my perspective. So uh, keep that in mind. Right off the bat, um, I can say that there's no single Accenture experience. I believe the company is too, too big or they are so diverse and they have a lot of people working with them. So I can't say that there's a single Accenture culture. I believe your experience, your um, the culture will depend on the team that you're in, on the people that are in your immediate surrounding or that's uh, around you every day of your working day or every hour of your working day I mean. Different teams uh, have different cultures and I believe the reason why this happens is because um, the the vibe of, of the team is largely an extension or a reflection of the leader, of the leader's personality, of the leader's likes and dislikes. So I believe um, the leader sets the vibe. What's, what's cool, what's not cool, what's tolerable, what's not tolerable. So yeah, I believe uh, the leader plays an important role in terms of your experience or your team culture. And that will shape your experience uh, inside the company. Okay, so back in 2016, I was fortunate enough to be part of a team that's a young team. Uh, and we have a good culture. We have a leader that cares for us, that's concerned, uh, not just uh, us as an employee but us as humans so he wants us to flourish and uh, yeah he's, he's been my mentor for years now and I was lucky that uh, out of a hundred people five of us got uh, rolled into that team I mentioned that everyone was young so this is a perfect fit for me given that I am just starting out and uh, everyone was helpful everyone is generous with their time with their knowledge so yeah, one of the main reasons that I stayed for almost five years is because I love the people that I'm working with. I think that's a bit of God's favor in my life as well that uh, I got dropped or I got chosen to be part of that team, which is really the perfect place for me to grow and to flourish uh, in my career as a developer. One good thing I can say about Accenture is they really give opportunities to people like me, to beginners, to career shifters. So they didn't care if I, I had the experience or the skills needed, but instead they hired me based on my potential or I guess based on uh, how I did with the assessments. So I'm thankful for that. Uh, they have a lot of boot camps. They have a lot of um, trust in their uh, internal capability uh, development. Uh, so they have a team for that. So yeah, that's a good thing. So if you're if you want to start your career, yeah, Accenture is a good place to go. 
So another thing that I know you're interested in is regarding salary. Most of the questions that I received are uh, asking me about the salary. So in terms of salary, I would say, or some would say, that they are uh, one of the lowest in the industry. But uh, for me, I think it was enough. Uh, it's enough since I was just starting out. I know my value. I know that I don't have the skill. So yeah, I, w I was happy with, with what I got. And there will be yearly increases, so there will be performance reviews and your increase will depend on that. If you performed well, uh, you will have increase. You will be promoted. Again, don't expect a big jump in your salary. Even if you're promoted, don't expect significant changes or uh, raises in your salary. So that's one thing. So you might ask if everything is good why did i leave the company why did i left uh, i think it's a combination of uh, reasons so number one is i got married i recently got married uh, and then i had to earn more because i have dreams for my family and i want to support us i want to be able to give them what they want so i look for a better opportunity number two is i felt ready I, I felt confident in my skill that I can take on new challenges, new roles, and yeah, I'm ready to grow. So that's another one. And number three is back then I was not happy with the people I'm in project with. I remember the quote that I read somewhere that uh, it says, people don't leave companies, they leave bad managers. And I think that certainly was true for me so yeah and with the combination of the other uh, reasons I think it's the perfect time I figured uh, maybe uh, this is God nudging me to leave leave the nest right? leave the comfort zone and uh, yeah so I left and I believe that I made the right decision it, it improved my life uh, I can say that I have grown since then I can say that um, my skills got improved not just my technical skills but even my soft skills like even this YouTube channel, I started this when I left the company. So yeah, it gave me the confidence as well to talk to you guys and share the journey. In conclusion, just to wrap things up, if you need a stepping stone, if you're a beginner, if you want to break into the industry, if, you're, if you want to make a shift in your career, I think Accenture can be that company for you. They are good, they have a training capability, they fund you they will support you in uh, in your quest to grow so if you're like me and uh, you manage to find a leader that uh, that's good that's a good fit that cares for you that's concerned for you and your team so yeah uh, I think you st you found gold in that because leaders m will make or break your experience they can um, enhance or diminish your uh, working experience and the last is don't wait to be promoted if you want to earn more if you want to uh, increase your salary I think you should take charge of your career so keep on improving your skills keep on studying and actively seek out opportunities so actively grow your network so there's LinkedIn um, there's a lot of connections you can make in that side so that's all that I can say for now uh, I'm sure you might have lots of questions so you can comment it down below and uh, if you're also like me an Accenture ex Accenture employee uh, do you agree do you disagree with my uh, findings with my opinion so you can comment it down below and you can also give your tips down below so until next time Thank you for watching.